Welcome to Stoughton Spotlight. I'm Jeffrey Pickett. On this episode, former Selectman Joe McCriskey came in and asked to have an opportunity to respond to a recent story uh, that has been in the Stoughton Journal, the Snyder Stoughton column, uh, the last edition of the Stoughton Journal, and on WBZ TV about a Memorial Square sign in Stoughton, which was labeled as a killed in action, uh, which had been an error and a, another sign was taken down as the template to make this inadvertent sign. So the, Joe is here today and we'll have a conversation about this matter. But if we could put up the signs um, just on the screen, just so if anybody's wa watching right now and hasn't read the article, hasn't watched the BZ piece, just so we can uh, see um, what the, the situation was. You can see on the right-hand side of the screen the blue sign, uh, Kenneth McCriskey Square, which is located on Canton and Drake Streets. And that's the standard sign that's around town for veterans who have been, uh, who have served, but came back after the war, lived a life of service to the town and are honored with a Memorial Square. Uh, the sign on the left was a sign that is mirrored after the killed in action signs. Uh, and I guess you could say the, issues, the issue here is with that sign on the left saying killed in action because uh, Kenneth was not killed in action, and we'll get to that later. And that sign itself, if we could bring up the mirror sign, uh, the sign on the left was modeled after this sign and this sign that you see on the screen was briefly taken down as a template for the uh, the black Kenneth McCriskey sign. So uh, this story has certainly created a lot of buzz here in town over the last uh, few days over the Memorial Day weekend, um, and several veterans have you know voiced their opinions. But uh, we're here today to hear from. Uh, Joe McCriskey, who's in the center of, of this story. So we'll start, uh, Joe, with when you had this sign made, you know, over a month ago, did you envision you no. having to come in here? No, no, not at all. This is uh, something that, uh, you know, has grown out of uh, proportion completely over a mistake that was made. And, um, you know, it shouldn't have happened, but it did. Um, I've been accused in social media and by some people, you know, um, town employees, elected officials, uh, which is, is, is not borderline slanderous, it's slanderous. Uh, I've been accused of crea uh, committing a crime, of stealing a sign, and um, nobody wanted to hear it. Uh, nobody has asked me, me coming in to you to come in and, and have my side of the story heard is the only opportunity I've had. I've not been asked anything by anyone. Well, let's go back okay. to the beginning here. Yeah. So the sign, uh, if I'm, my date is correct, the sign, the original Kenneth McCriskey sign was dedicated in 1994. Mm -hmm. And so it's a blue sign. And as I mentioned a minute ago, the blue signs are what you see mostly around town mm -hmm. for the veterans who have served, came back and lived a life of service to the town of mm -hmm. Stoughton and are honored. Mm -hmm. uh, so that sign, so at what point did you and who did you approach to upgrade the sign? Okay. Well, one thing I do want to correct from the beginning mm -hmm. is that there is no written policy that would have been voted by the Board of Selectmen that says a black sign indicates killed in action. Mm -hmm. There is no written policy. You have a picture that you'll be putting up sooner uh, in a couple of minutes here. We can put it up, that, this, uh, the Simeon Yeah, square. the Simeon sign. That one's been up. Uh, before my uncle, I believe, and the veterans agent knows it's there. Has never mentioned anything no, about actually, another black sign. That's right down the street from our studios. Exactly. Here so people go by. TV. So Pleasant so this Turnpike. analogy that a black sign means killed in action is false. There's no policy in the town of Stoughton books, and this was verified by the town manager, that there is no written policy that says black signs are for killed in well, action. So let's backtrack. Uh, so what, what did you want to do with the sign? Who did you approach okay. about it? My first call is to the people that put these signs up and mm -hmm. create these signs, the DPW. Mm -hmm. And I said to the DPW, I'd like to get a new sign because the one at my uncle's location was in disrepair. 
it was ready, one side was ready to peel through, and for them to put the old one back up, they had to reconstruct it to put it up, okay, because it was in that bad of disrepair. Uh, I said, and if I can, I'd like to get one of the black ones. The shape is a nice, it's a different shape, it's a nicer looking sign. And I, was, I said, get me the bill. I'm, I'm not looking for a freebie, I'll pay the bill, so when, when it's ready, call me, let me know it's ready, and I'll go pay the bill. So I, you know, if people look around town, a lot of these memorial squares are not kept up with. I keep up with this in honor of my uncle's memory. You know, and I put flowers there, I've got a hanging plant there, I try to keep it looking nice. And this, I just wanted a sign, so I said, take the same information from my uncle's sign and just see if you can put it on one of the black ones with the, the same shape because it was a nicer looking sign. So it was done. I didn't take any sign down. I did not remove Mr. Mears' sign. I did not touch it. I did not bring it anywhere. I did not steal it. I didn't do anything illegal. I didn't even touch that. I found out after the fact, when this whole thing blew up, is that the DPW didn't have a template for it, so they took the Mears' sign over to the sign place and gave it to the, the company as an example. And somewhere in that breakdown, the part that, you know, my uncle's information wasn't there. All they did was took the same sign and replaced the name. So you never asked for a duplication of a never. Kilden Action sign? Never, never, never. Now, do you understand, though, why that upset P I, members I, of the veteran oh, listen, community. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, listen, I, you know, I, I'm stuck in the middle here because there's all I tried to do was something to honor my uncle's memory, which I always do, and to put up a nicer looking sign. If somebody had said, now I went to the people that make the signs and do the polls and get these square locations done. If they said, hey, listen, black and, is a sign for killed in action, I would have said, okay, I mean, then I won't do it. Give me the same shape and put it in blue. It was that simple but it never come up. I know there's not a policy. I knew that before, okay? This was nothing more than an error that they duplicated the sign by just changing the name on the same sign. Now, and, that's, and that's wrong. Now, uh, believe me, I have veterans that I know that I've already called, and when they heard my side, they didn't feel as bad. Do you feel, though, that the Mears family, though, I mean, would? Do you feel they should be apologized I, to? I would apologize to the Mears family without a doubt. And just for that our Just viewers, because it happened. Right. He was 19 you know, years old, died yes. in service oh, in Vietnam. And you know something? And has I mean, a square name from not far from actually your uncle's square. Exactly. Right. And I'll tell you, there's nobody that will ever say that I disrespect veterans. I've done more as an elected official in this town than some people ever dreamed of doing to try to you know, pr make sure that veterans get what they need. You know, and that we could have programs. Everything I've stood by it. I'm the I was a, I was endorsed a few years back by every sitting commander of the Allied Veterans Council. When I went to the Vietnam Wall, I made sure that I brought back the rubbings. They hit sit in town hall now. Of every Stoughton man killed in action is sitting on the wall of town hall right now. The rubbings. So I mean, you know, you're not going to say that. You know, and and one more, the 182nd Air uh, um, National Guard unit. I was honored by them in 2001 for my commitment to their unit at their military ball. All right, so, you know, nobody's going to say that I don't care. Our veterans are the most important. And what really pisses me off, in plain English, is that this got brought up on Memorial Day weekend. Shame on the people that even took it and ran with it at that particular time. Because that should have been a time we should have been honoring our military people, but yet this BS was on there. Well, you know, and shame on them for doing it at that time. The mere sign, obviously, there's a gold star on the top, which yes. would indicate killed in action. Yep. Then the words killed in action. There are that the Simeon sign, let's talk about that because that mm -hmm. is another black sign. Although mm -hmm. I can't think of off the top of my head another sign like it no, in town. No, without a doubt, you're right. Do it's you know, a different. Do you know the circumstances around that? Because, again, that doesn't fit, whether there's a policy or not, it doesn't fit the the design that most of the other signs have. No, exactly. This was just a nicer looking sign. Mm -hmm. And if it was in blue, you know, and it will probably, something's going back up, you know, because the sign there is in, in disrepair. The, it was just a nicer shape of the sign. You know, and you know, the fact that it was a black one, it wasn't done 
it to in, you know, the intention wasn't to dis dishonor anyone else. It was a nicer looking sign. It's that simple. Well, do you feel okay. you were a selectman for years? Do you feel there should be a policy? Because oh, without a doubt, because there should the, be. the town has, whether in words or not, more or less in practice, established that blue are for well, signs for veterans who came back from war and died later in life, and black is for killed in action. Right, but again, we were talking about the sign difference and what the color was or the shape. Mm. You know, I would say that if you want to make it a policy, that you, you nail it down to exactly what the size and color is going to be. You know, and this was nothing more than an oversight. You know, the other sign was there. I was told there was another sign that was a black one that was up, and it was actually changed. You know, and it was changed because of something different. I don't know what it was, but it's irrelevant. But this was nothing more than they took the, the wrong information and put it on the sign. This wouldn't have been as much an issue as no. it is now. Who's they? The sign What's company? That? The 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 the, the company? Well, I I, be I believe that the person that brought the sign to the sign company didn't give the sign company the proper direction. Did you ever see like a purchase order or like a receipt that like you would only get? after I, only when I paid the bill? Mm -hmm. And did that did that? Oh yeah, indicate it said it, it, said it, it there. Yes, okay. and that's when when the sign went up. When the sign went up, I got a phone call immediately, mm -hmm. and I said, "Get the I won't say what I said. Get mm -hmm. it down." Mm -hmm. You know, because that's not right. You know, not because it's going to be unpopular. It wasn't right. Mm. My uncle, I worked for my uncle. Okay, I loved my uncle. He did a lot for me. He was a, a man, one of the men I looked up to in my life. Why in God's good earth would I ever go and lie about his service record? I'm not honoring his memory, and I'm not going to do it. That's not what I do. You know, I've seen people on Facebook and this thing that are accusing me of anything under the sun. I don't care about those people. People that don't like me are never gonna say anything good. I don't care about those people. I owe this to the veterans that I know that were questioning and said there's gotta be something else. Well, do you understand yeah. why this became such a, I do. a, a hot topic? I, I do, but what, what bothers me, Jeff, is that not one person until today, not one person, not the veterans agent, no member of the board, well, three members of the board of selectmen, I called personally and they said they were okay with it. Nobody has asked my side of the story, okay? Mark Snyder called me while I was on a business trip to California and asked me if I wanted to defend myself. And he's asking me about a letter that I've never even seen yet. Mm -hmm. But in fairness, okay. I did speak with him and he said that he would have printed whatever you sent to him no, exactly. unedited. Exactly, but I'm not gonna respond with something I haven't seen, okay? And I'm, I like Mark. You know, but Mark is very close to, you know, he has a friendly relationship with the veterans agent's wife. You know, she volunteered but here on, with TV sure, shows. Sure, but this is a town so, where but a I, lot But I'm of sorry, though. That, that relationship, when I'm getting people, you know, when I'm getting the veterans agent making accusations about me that are untrue, I'm not going to respond until I know what I'm dealing with. Well, I guess in just in defense of not that it's my place to defend anybody, but I, I certainly would think that Mark would has enough integrity that he wouldn't let a relationship get in the I'm way. I'm not of saying he doesn't, but what I'm saying is that's the reason I didn't talk to Mark because mm -hmm. I hadn't seen anything, and I know that he he most likely because he's talking about a letter that I hadn't even received yet. Well, the, see, sele this, the selectman did go into executive session about this matter. That's right, and without asking me my side of the story. And well, they are requesting. I believe that you would have received it because it said that it I was got this. Yeah, they delivered wants, by certified yes. mail, and so they are requesting that you appear before the board at another time and that the board will hold another meeting in the very near future to discuss this matter further and your response to this notice certainly will be considered as to whether and how the board chooses to proceed. Um, the board found that in a unanimous opinion that it was disrespectful to the veterans killed in action in their families. Well, you um, know, Do you feel that because at the time, just to get the timing right, you were still a member of the Board of Selectmen, right, when the you ordered the sign? I, it was right about, yeah, it was in that time. I forget okay. what, what the time was. It do could you, have been just before or just after. Do you feel that it's proper for a member of the Board of Selectmen to call the DPW and make such a request? Could a could, uh, regular, you know, I don't want to say regular resident because Board of Selectmen are regular residents too, but could any member of the public call the DPW and make the same request? Sure. Why not? If it's not costing the town, they can make that request. If they had a memorial sign, 
you know, people, you know, and this is the one because I knew they make the signs. Some people may go to the veterans agent first because they didn't know where the sign comes from. But the reason I called them is I know they make the signs. Mm. But you so, understand with the way no, of being a select. Oh, no, I, under, I understand, what? but it was not an order. It was a request. If they said, no, we can't do that, I would have made other arrangements. Mm -hmm. you know, it was not a, I didn't order anyone to do anything. If the DPW didn't feel comfortable with it, they could have said, no, we don't do that. And I would have said, okay, fine. You know, it was that simple. So it, and uh, there was no pressure. And I, I think I even said something to the fact, if you don't want to do it, let me know. I can do something else. Because we're talking about a sign. This isn't, you know, an act of Congress here. Mm -hmm. You know, so any, any story, and you know, here's the thing that, uh, that I did notice in Facebook, you know, when I was looking at some of this bull, is that there's a Stoughton resident that said, my father was killed in action, and I've been trying to get a, a, a sign that said it for, for some time, and I haven't been able to get it. So what does that tell you about the process? You know, if we have a Stoughton resident that has a sign, and it doesn't say killed in action, and he was, what's that tell you about the process? Well, should... Again, you, you sat in the big chair for mm -hmm. many years. Should the Board of Selectmen be making a policy? Oh, right now, to, after this, definitely. To deal with something yeah, but like see, this. See, that's the thing. It was something that wasn't that you needed a policy. But if we're going to, you know, if something like a mistake would have happened, like this mistake was made, it should go through. Pro I would say it should right. go because we can't let this happen again. In all fairness, though, if people, if it was just plain the blue sign and the black sign, blue is for one set of veterans mm -hmm. black is for the other and there wasn't was mixing. The policy right right but if there is mixing doesn't that kind of lend itself to there needs well to again be some sort of policy yes and but that's my point is i showed you the other black sign that's sitting there today mm -hmm. all i was asking for was a different shape what that's um I mean. we didn't really get into this in the earlier in the episode what is the circumstances with that sign because like i said that is i don't know that is different than i don't know the other signs around town i don't know because it even yeah. has an American flag. It's more similar to the shape of the blue sign. Yeah. It has an American yeah. flag, if we could bring yeah. it back up. It has yeah. a town seal on it. It's um, been there a while. doesn't and actually you know, say what branch of military either. No. If I'm and you know, correct. like yeah. I said, it may be the fact that when the veterans agent started his job, which was not too long ago, uh, maybe he decided that he liked these signs better for killed in action. And that's commendable. That's a good thing. But put a policy together. It, was, it took something like this that a mistake took place. That was in, it wasn't done by me, it was done by an error, by human error, and what there should be is a policy that says that all signs will be approved by the veterans agent, and then if a resident wants to put a new sign up, you give them the, locate, you know, the place where they can purchase one, and they can go, and they'll be only able to purchase the right one. It has to be authorized by the, the veterans agent. But again, this is how we do things in Stoughton, is we don't pr properly plan looking ahead. And then when something happens, it's a big, instead of looking at, well, how do we, how do we pre prevent, uh, prevent this from happening again? We don't look at that, if, you know? If you had received a call that said, we have to take down a killed in action sign in order to make this sign. Wouldn't have happened. What would you have said? Would have said, don't do it. What do you think I say? That's, right. that's an easy question. Sure, Jeff. no. I mean, because, you know, again, I respect our veterans. I've gone and done whatever I can when requested of me. And as an elected official, you do things for veterans. I've supported the veterans agent in his job every single time he's come before the Board of Selectmen. Never, ever. You know, I mean, he came before us recently on setting up the um, articles for town meeting. He wanted to do some different things I thought was beneficial to the, benefit, uh, to the veterans. He didn't even have a dollar amount of what it was going to cost us. I still supported the article to go forward to town meeting because I thought he'll put the numbers together. That's not what we do when you're on the Board of Selectmen. Somebody has an article, you say, how much is it going to cost us? We decide whether we can afford it. And then it gets voted by the Board of Selectmen to go to town meeting. So I've supported the veterans agent every step of the way in his job. Never, you know, He's done a good job. This one here I have a problem with just by the way it was handled. Now, in terms of you know, you're watching the show tonight, and this is your most extensive comments on the, the situation. But only, because I haven't been sure. given them. Sure, um, Is if what about people saying, you know, listening to this, ah, are you throwing the DPW under the bus? You know, do you no, feel that? No, I'm not that throwing I'm stating the facts, because the facts haven't been talked about for me. I, it, and I'm not throwing them under the bus. Mm. This was an error. People make mistakes. This was a bad one. Nobody did anything intentionally, and I'm not throwing anyone under the bus, mm. but you know, my reputation right now is the thing that's being slandered. 
People in town have been slandering my name, okay? Under the legal terms, I could sue these people, okay? The town manager told the veterans agent, there's nothing here, let it go. The DPW said to the veterans agent, there's nothing here, let it go. He took this on his own to run with it. No problem. You know, do what you want to do, but don't slander my name. I've had the Board of Selectmen go into executive session to talk about filing criminal charges. Hey, listen, if you think I did something illegal, I dare you file the charges because at least I know the good men and women at the police department will look at it objectively. And if they find something was done illegal, I can tell you they well, won't. Speaking to one member of the Board of Selectmen last night, he indicated that he didn't feel it was a, an illegal act. However, he felt, but, okay. he felt it was an abuse of power. Okay, well, that's not because it was a request. It was not an order. And I said, if you can't do it, I understand. I'll make other arrangements. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not an abuse of power. It's not an illegal act. But the Board of Selectmen met in executive session without talking to me to talk about criminal charges. All right, so, so what happens now if I think Jeff Pickett spray painted a fire hydrant? Am I going to go into executive session? and listen to one side of the story, and then decide whether I'm gonna file charges on Jeff Pickett. So now, th what this board has done, in my opinion, is open this up to who else is next. If they get away with this, what's next? You know, so this has nothing more than the process. If somebody, if the, uh, the, um, if the veterans agent had called me and said, hey, what happened? I would've told him. Mm -hmm. He didn't do that. So you didn't receive a call from anybody at Town Hall on Never, this. never has a town official contacted me ever about this issue, never. I called three members of the Board of Selectmen that I felt would be objective, and I told them what happened, and when I spoke to them, they said, okay, you know, this sounds legit to me, okay? I spoke with the town manager. I apologized to the town manager for the grief that this has put on him. Mm -hmm. Now, people know, <laughs> people know my relationship with the town manager. I haven't been a fan of him, but I gotta give, my, give him his due, is that he even said, there's nothing here, mm -hmm. and he told, the veterans agent that. The DPW superintendent, when I was in his office apologizing to him, okay, I was apologizing to DPW as well for this grief that this is, is put on his department, is that um, the veterans agent stuck his head in the office when I was sitting there mm -hmm. and he asked him if I could talk to you privately. He didn't even take that opportunity to say, can I ask you what the hell happened here? He didn't do that, okay? So th this has been a concentrated effort to take one side of a story and run with it and see what you can find, okay? Now, I, I gotta back up, you mm -hmm. know, when you said, you know, the, the Mears family is, I would, I would have no problem, believe me, I'll say it here, and if I knew where to get in touch with them, I would go see them and apologize for the situation mm -hmm. that, that took place, you know, because it's wrong. But, I, you know, and I am gonna go and, and, and say, you know, that I do apologize to all of our veterans for the controversy this simple mistake has caused. It wasn't my intent. It was nothing more than my, my want to honor my uncle's memory to make his area of Stoughton, that little area where my grandfather did business since 1925 and my uncle until his death, to make it look a little nicer. If I had known that this was gonna happen, it, I mean, I wouldn't do that. I've served this town dating back to 1987 when I was first elected to the Finance Committee. I've had people file ethics violations on me and complaints, and I've never been found guilty of anything because I don't do anything like that. And I'm not gonna start now. I'm gonna start when I'm getting off the Board of Selectmen? Come on. You know, I mean, this was a simple mistake that has just been blown way out of proportion. You know, and I wish it didn't happen, believe me, because the last thing you do when your mother goes on Facebook, or people that you love, and my kids go on Facebook and read this, there's, there's no excuse, and I would ask anybody who sits there and makes these statements on Facebook about sending me to jail and stripping my name from all these, you know, the buildings and, you know, just look yourself in the mirror and ask you if you would want somebody, you know, your kids to see somebody saying that about you, you know? So it, it just, it, it's out of control, it needs to stop. Um, you know, I have not, you know, I've had media people see a letter before I've seen it, You've got a letter right there, a three-page letter that was written by the, the veterans agent. That letter sitting right there with God as my judge, I have never looked at before, but you have it, right? Uh, other people got the letter that was sent to me by certified mail when the board knew and Mark Snyder knew I was in California last week. They sent it to me certified mail. 
I couldn't see it, but I was asked to respond about it. So come, I mean, you know, see, people don't know that. You know, I have no problem talking about anything. If you want to talk about that letter, I'll respond to it. But again, this, what, it, what needs to be said is that you have a copy of the letter written about me, and I haven't even had a copy of it. I mean, in this letter, just for mm -hmm. uh, viewers at home, it was written to the selectmen, town manager, and members of the Memorial Square Dedication Committee. Mm -hmm. And it's laying out Mr. Pizarra's case and what he feels occ occurred in, yeah. this, in this matter. And then the letter from the Board of Selectmen is a one-page letter that is sent, it's signed by all five selectmen and was dated May 18th. Mm -hmm. The previous letter that you referenced was dated May 5th. Mm -hmm. So looking at this situation though. The Let me ask you something. Does that letter say that I took the mere sign down? Did you read that? I did. Um, Does it say that? It said that either yourself or somebody else acting on your behalf took okay. the letter, took the sign down. Somebody acting on my behalf, so what, who would that be? Who uh, said so that, I take that as I told a friend of mine to go take the sign down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's inaccurate, because I just told you who took the sign down. See, that's my point, Jeff, if nobody asked me. That's what's got me mad. That three-page letter. Let me just quote from it, actually. I don't want to paraphrase where it, it says, um, in a number of cases, either directed public works or did so himself had the sign removed. Okay, well, it's wrong because I didn't direct anybody to take a sign down, and I didn't take it down, so that's an inaccurate statement. Okay, so if somebody were to go to the DPW and say, did Joe McCriskey tell you to take the mirror sign down? They're going to have to say no because I didn't say that. See, that's the thing. Anything that's in here, if somebody wants to challenge me, I'll, I'll hook myself up to a lie detector test on this one, but I want the, built, the uh, veterans agent to do the same. You know, so look, as our time is about to uh, expire. Yeah, on, I do want a couple program. minutes just to wrap up well, as well. And, let, let's, because yeah. there's only about 40 seconds before we'd run over the slot. So um, I'll give you a final thought. Yeah, no, I just want to thank you. I came in here and I'll say for the record, I came in here under my rights as a citizen, which everyone has, to sit in front of a camera and give you my side of the story. I asked Jeff to be a part of this because I don't have a problem getting the tough questions because I've done nothing wrong. This has been something that was a simple human mistake. It grew into something that it shouldn't have. And I do apologize, looking into this camera, to all the residents of our town, and to the veterans especially for this, the, the controversy that took place. It wasn't intended. It wasn't my wish. It's something that happened under human error. I wish it didn't happen just as much as you do, and I'm sorry for that. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in this evening. Joe, thank you for joining me. No, and thank you for being honest. and, and I, I don't mind the tough questions. Thank and, you. And uh, again, hope this gives a, an understanding of the, the topic. You can also look at the other stories that have been published to, to get all, all sides on this issue. So again, thank you for tuning in. I want to thank Michael Hammond for directing, and uh, we'll see you next time on Stoughton Spotlight.